Hi, I haven't done a video on here for so long using my iPad stand. Um, I'm just happy to be back on here right now. I just got a bunch of packages in. Um, one of them, I'm sorry, my mirror looks gross back there. <coughs> I apologize. <laughs> Anyhow, I have no makeup on out of this so we can see all my circles. <laughs> but I had to share, the most important thing I had to share is my book that's in. Um, what I usually do at the end of the year is I always get like <clears throat> a few items on clearance. And today, this year it was like QVC HSN, which it usually is. And then I'll do it again like around the spring or summer. And, um, like, I get things like one-tenth of the cost if I do it that way. And I have cards with them, so a lot of times I get discounts and stuff. I also did a little bit of Old Navy. Um, I don't have the Old Navy stuff out, though. I actually did one item at Forever 21, which is shocking. I got a really big size, just in case. <laughs> and um, a couple more things from Felina.com, which I've had kind of luck with them. So... But here's my book. I'll do my book last. Um, this is the book. It's the paperback of um, The Purple Sun. A uh, poetic journey through domestic violence, I think is what I needed. But you're going to see it in just a few. So I don't have all the items in, but I was so happy. This is like a Susan Graver talk from, um, I don't know, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's from HSN or QVC. I'm horrible. I'll put the links down below. I'm sure they're still there. Um, I might have gotten a little bit of a better price because when they have the sales and they put them up. Now, some stuff is, is polyester. I was trying to stay away from it, but, you know, they have polyester in um, Nordstrom and, like, the finer places. So I said, you know what, the heck with it. But I have been loving colors. Like, when I grew up, you know, in a Portuguese family, I'm half, and then the other half is, like, uh, British. Um, might even be German, but we haven't um, allocated that yet for my son. But... Um, definitely Finnish, British, and half Portuguese, so uh, did I leave out one? Oh, it might be like British, Irish, but anyway, so, um, oh yeah, so we have all these colors in the house, uh, like really bright colors, and sometimes I'll just be like, ah, I don't really, I'm not into that, I grew up around enough of it, but I've been getting back into it again, I don't know why. But, so I got that really cute shirt from Susan Graver. And then I think these are pants from either Logo or Susan Graver again. Let me see. Who are these? Yeah, Logo. L-O-G-O. -O. Um, I like her clothes. I'll leave that link below. And um, I didn't get as big of the size as I usually get. I like, I don't like my clothes to be tight at all. Usually I'm in a lot of pain. Though. These look like really big. These might actually be a little big for me. Um, these are really big. But um, I've been kind of fitting more in 12s lately, you know? But, you know, my belly is always big and my hips. My hips will, if I have to tuck it in, I'll just, I mean, take it in, I'll take it in a little bit. But I really loved how pretty these pockets are. I mean, they got like a lace on there a little bit. and. Like, it's, summer's coming up, and I'm feeling pretty good about myself, so I'm really thinking about, like, this and this goes really nice. I'll, like, what I'll do is when I go out, and I'll take a picture of me in the outfits. But um, I thought this was so pretty. I'll wear that and that, like, to, we have a museum right around the corner. We have the Oregon Historical Society I've been thinking about visiting. Um, um, I've been making reservations to go to the ballet that's not too far away. So, I mean, this is like the first time I've really even considered going out doing stuff like that because I just didn't feel good enough about myself. Like, I've been working on myself, like, um, beauty-wise, you know, like salon kind of stuff. I'm just doing stuff that needed to be done. And, um, you know, you, you, you're around other people that have, you know, already been doing this regularly, you know, effectively. And, um, you know, to stop and be dressed up and have a conversation with them it's, wasn't really in the, the cards for me yet you know, for a very long time. Now, this is really... Now, Isaac was on, um... Oh, what is that famous fashion show thing with the, the ex-model? But anyway, he was on that show, Project Runway. And, um, I like a lot of his clothes. Isaac Mizrahi. And, um, 
look at how pretty that is. Now this is polyester too. And like I said, I'm just, you know, let me see how, even if it doesn't look right on me, I still love it. And like, what did I do? I put like, you know, cover lipstick on it. That would go nice. Um, I have something over here that might go. Actually, I have some nice red stuff. Like I have a nice Almay that I got years ago. I got some new makeup too, so I'm gonna plan out that. But I don't like walking around downtown Portland with makeup on because you're asking for trouble. I have been followed many times by very discrediting people, <laughs> discredited people. <laughs> but see, I think, and I need my glasses all the time. I think it's kind of cute. I still have kind of a cute little girl look and like I probably should be looking at a lot of stuff I'm looking at. I have some stuff coming in from Candace Cameron Buren and now uh, she's like look, still looks like this cute little girl but I mean she's like 20 years younger than me and but I just couldn't stop fancying some of her stuff. It's on um back hold or something like that waitlisted but I put the order in but so it should be coming in but um I think I'm still I can still get away with like these fun flowery things. Like this thing, oh this red in here too. Isn't that cute as heck? So I have like, I don't have white pants. Like the pants coming in from Candace are pink and this really pretty like, um, like a mango uh, orange. And I thought, are you crazy? Like why would you walk around like that? Because that's the stuff that I would wear to the beach, like that kind of stuff, or those colors would be at the beach, and it's double trouble stuff. I love that kind of stuff, though I can't help it. We have the cutest guys out there. Like my mother would say, stay away from those men, or they're trouble, and I'd just be like, oh my God. But I love those colors anyway, and I think Portuguese, I don't know, I think we like those colors too, apparently. But I do have a top coming in that color, and I have two pairs of pants like that. Um, I've been having a really hard time with shirts, trying to find, like I have some low shirts, and I don't like my cleavage to hang out, or I don't know how this is gonna work, but I got a strapless bra from Jockey too that was next to nothing, so I'm hoping that works this summer, because my straps are always hanging out of my clothes. And then I got, um, Oh, I already opened up my pants. I should have showed those. I don't know where they are. I had some. Oh, here they are. <clears throat> These are the Forever 21 pants. Now, look at the way, the difference in the size of the waist on these. They look smaller, and these are like an extra large. Those other ones are only large. And, um, like my, my midsection is getting stronger, so I can handle a lot more tension, um, of, uh, yeah, see, this is good to just run out in the morning, put a pair of sneakers on if I have to run out and get something. So I had those. Um, okay, and let's see what else this is. Oh, and oh yeah, I got one more shirt from Isaac, Miss Rahi. Now this thing looked so pretty. Now I don't usually wear sweaters in the summer, but I thought this is just so cute. Look at how cute that is. And, um... <clears throat> I don't know if this would go with this, but I do have a strapless bra. This might go perfectly with this, actually. I got this at Felina's. This might work. Um, even if it showed a little bit, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. So I got that. Uh, let's see what else. A couple more pairs of pants. I have more stuff coming in. I don't usually lately open up when I get like clothes and stuff, but I figured I want to share the book. Let me just share some other clothes. So. Um, I got the tees because they're always hanging. So I have these. They're, they're, they look a little bit, they run more like the 12 sizes. And um, I think it'll be better for me because my clothes are kind of falling off a little bit. I've been doing a lot of yoga, even though I hadn't been able to move around a lot and I was having a lot of pain, you know, just trying to put tighter clothes on me. Um, I'm doing a little bit better. My core is getting stronger is what it is. My core is getting nice and tight. And I'll tell you, you know, when I can't move, that's why I had um, introduced I'm going to be doing some PJ yoga in bed. 
I just do it in bed lately. And it's like instead of not doing it, like if I really can't do it, I'll stop and wait till I heal a little bit. But um, it works just doing PJ yoga. So I really want to share that with you. Now these are a lot smaller than the ones I had before. Um, so I'm hoping that they, it's such a pretty color. It's organic cotton. They look kind of gross, but um, they're really pretty. It's organic cotton, they're yoga pants. I, I mostly only wear yoga pants, except um, like I have a couple track pants, yoga pants, and then I do have three dress pants and then like a pair coming in from, um, these are kind of like yoga lounge pants, coming in from Canvas, two dress pants. So that'll be stuff that I'll wear like to, you know, the museum and um, other nice places. I won't wear it to the ballet, but. I have two dresses I can wear to the ballet. I, I was gonna go away to Cancun and um, United Airlines canceled my flight out there. I'm kind of glad they did because now I've been able to get a lot of stuff done. I was just gonna like wing it going out there as far as how I looked and now I've been able to get a lot of for myself. Okay, this is like, now I'm self-publishing again. Um, well, this is really thin. I did it through Ingrams, which means you know, you're really like intently publishing because they put it out to the bigger places, Barnes, and I even have a Library of Congress number, which they don't have to pick it up if they don't want it, but they did pick up my ebook, but I didn't have a Library of Congress number, so there's a good sign. That's a lot harder to get them to purchase a paperback, though. So I will remember that next time I publish a book, but um, this is it. The Purple Sun, A Poetic Journey Through Domestic Violence. It just, you know, it was always on my mind, these things. So what I do is I use up all my writing instead of wasting it and I turn it into a book. And now I had really pretty photos in there before, but my photos wouldn't be accepted by their um, system. So I had to go through at the last minute through pages and just grab, insert things like this so that it wasn't just writing. And now it's very nostalgic that way. I pay for the book cover to be made um, it wasn't, I didn't pay that much at all, but, uh, I'm going to have to check it over and it's already been like a proof of distribution March 20th. So, but, um, if there's any mistakes, I think I still have time where I can go in and have it fixed for free because it doesn't go out to March 20th. But let me just read you, um, what made me think of the title of the purple sun is this poem. I was taking a lot of photographs for my last book. And I saw the sun shine down on this green leaf and it shined on it kind of purplish. So it says, another land, time, place, another scary door. God, shine, God shines the sun down on this green leaf for me to see. Changing it to the color of purple of the symbol of domestic violence, I couldn't see its importance at the time. Though growing up, I saw the dreaded abuse upon my mother leaving me in a dark, scary place, feeling no way of communication. I was destined to live this as well in life. I lost her when running from abuse myself, never being able to see her funeral, where I felt she died from her abuse. I don't see the purple leaf's full importance until much later. It carries to a tunnel. And then I start the poetic journey, because this is kind of a forward. It carries to a tunnel, I'm not afraid, I'm stepping in. The green leaf that has its color changed, I feel now is for me to see, to see its important significance, to this important journey to be told with my gifts that I've been given, as well as a life survived to do this, all from God. Last night it signified to me when I had cried in pain as the blood flowed from me, when I asked God to take me from this pain, at that moment that I couldn't bear, he replied to tell the story of what's going on as he saved me. As the beginning of this poem came to me later, that I didn't remember that I wrote or how it came about, it's at these times that I realize it's from God. It's so important to understand and be told the meaning of truth and hate. And now when I write things like, you know, it, it's very deep, but it, it comes to me automatically. And, and I know it's coming from like an important place. Yet when I read it back, it, it sounds confusing and like a mess, but I know it's not. It's just my mind telling me that because I've been around a lot of people who are highly intelligent because I'm with Sigma Tau Delta. And you know, when I went to back to school much later in life, uh, very luckily, I could squeeze in a couple of years. I was around a lot of people, you know, that were just really, really good and respected my work and I respected theirs. 
So um, I hold on to those thoughts when I go to these places and I put things out. I know there's a reason for it. And then I have wonderful supporters, um, associates, and I, I'd like to say friends now that really say the same things to me. But I turned this book into um, a journey running into a lot of other people that are going through abuse as well. And one big one was human trafficking. And I just can't get it off my mind, my, my possible connection to that and my abuse and how far it goes. Um, but um, it, it's just, uh, let's do trigger warning. If there's kids in the room, you gotta move them out. But like I just saw something on TikTok and I realize TikTok isn't always reliable, but I believe it was from a news source. Um, it was a, in a court you know, um, identifying body parts of a woman uh, of domestic, I have to assume it's domestic violence. I mean, her husband was the one who cut her up in different pieces and put her in a bag. And we've been hearing a lot about things like this with women. And, um, you know, I can't help but I always go to what the motive really was that it came from. Uh, was it really domestic violence? I mean, does grooming go as far back as five or ten years? I mean, I just, my mind just goes all over the place. And I'm not going to not justify it because if I'm seeing these things, I'm seeing them for a reason. And as far-fetched as they sound, there's got to be something that it connects to. So I, that's kind of what I got into in this book was other people's abuse that I kept connecting with. And mine, possibly the retaliation was connected to these other people. Or was it that way for me all along, you know, because me and my mom were left alone and I had problems when I was younger of, of um, you know, I want to think of a name here, of, of you know, predators, you know, predator, you know, um, on little kids, that go up to little kids. So, um, I just let it go, you know, because I do so much meditating and I do so much work on myself and I figure if I'm, if I end up at that place, just let it go, let it go, let it go. So the truth of love and hate, it's just, you know, where is all this abuse coming from? You know, what is really love? You know, um, you, you know you've got hate, you've got so many reasons. It gets so involved. And you know, I really think at this point it's important that we look at this because if we look at this, why it's being done, really, like really intently, you know, break down, you know, where it came from, not just, okay, this is this, this is this crime. Now break it down into where it came from. And then even further than that, maybe it went even further. And that's scary, I know, because it's pretty scary to know that we're doing these things to one another. But that's how it came to me. So. Um, but I mean, you know, it's a whole enlightening journey from beginning to end, extremely honest to what I came in contact with and what, what could be. And, um, you know, all the way to the end of uh, still with all this around, um, our lives in general, cause I bring in a lot of other people's stories too. I feel, um, you know, I say it's okay. And as sad as it, I, it sounds, you know, you have to accept there's death in it all. And you have to accept that you pass on any people that you know you probably know have died from all these things um, you know that you weren't ever able to get back to because you're going through your own stuff and you just come to a place where um, no matter what you know even if you know you don't you don't survive there's still beauty you know because there's always heaven and you know I've always felt that so close to me you know and I've succumbed to that you know as far as um, you know I can't control all I just have to throw the towel in and accept the beauty of the world and how it goes around and not to be frightened of it. And it's not tr not being gloomy at all, you know? But anyway, so this will be out March 20th. I'm sure I'll be talking about it a lot more. <laughs> but I had to share that with you and I will put the links up to the close. I hate doing that, but I'm gonna do it. So thanks for watching Living Positively today.